Simon says, uh, he asked, there should Simon be says. a, tel- yeah, there should be a telephone list, telephone list of employees. Previously, these were available as public folders. The problem is that the contacts and the mobile devices were missing and that the users couldn't even find the public folder. What other options are there for making such a list available? Well, um, I'm wondering why they're not just using the built-in functionality that in, that's available in your profiles. So Active Directory, if it's populated correctly, will have their phone number, their supervisor, their department, and all of that. So I would advise people to go and fill out their Dell profile, but of course it's garbage in, garbage out. So that would be my I, preference. And I like that yeah. operative word, you know, the, the words, the phrase, you know, if it was filled out completely <laughs> correctly. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, there were third parties tools that were built to help that process to fill basic profile information in AD profiles, just because it's so much missing. But that's yeah. one of those things where is your your employee onboarding, for example, like, don't allow people just to skirt by without providing that contact information. Yeah, and, and it gives you even more context if you've ever worked in a large organization and you're like, who's the expert on this? Or who do I ask about that? Being able to add those attributes to your profile, say, ask me about SharePoint, ask me about yeah. Office 365. That's the preference, right? Yeah, we, we had, in fact, we had a question on exactly that. Uh, uh, just recently, somebody was asking about building a skills database. I mean, that kind of profile information, if you think about where things are going, certainly within the Microsoft 365 world, where you are, whether or not you're using today something like uh, uh, you know the Viva Topics and are building out those profile cards. I mean that the people skills and being able to identify when I've written a bunch of content, I'm involved in projects, and you're doing searching on you know, contextual searches and getting served up data that's relevant to me. And then my contact information is not there. Like that's something that you need to motivate people to go and complete that information or require it. Yeah, do a little scavenger hunt, you know, incentivize them to go fill it out and give out gift cards. It's, you know, I, um, I like to have them kind of build a scavenger hunt, say, who can you find that does this, this, and this? And then whoever answers the questions gets some kind of gift card. That's a good way to get people excited because what's in it for me, filling out my stuff or, you know, a gift card to some other place where I can spend money. Now you're starting to sound like Christian. What's in it for me? I know. What's, what's, what's... <laughs> It's the adult uh, trainer in me. It, you know, it's you always go from the adult perspective of what's in it for me. If it costs me more time, then I ain't going to do it. But if it gives me a benefit, I might think about it. Yeah. It, it like, look, as, a, as an organization, you need to make it stupid easy. So for people to go in and do it, but there, you, you've got to put, uh, you do the carrot, then have the stick ready, get people to fill out their profiles. <laughs> exactly. Other than that, you could do a SharePoint list, contact list on their main intranet, but that somebody has to maintain that. That's yeah. the worst thing about it. You know, we don't want to do that. If populated correctly, Active Directory and the org chart, it's self-maintaining, and that's ideal. 